So Al, as an experienced financial journalist, what was the thing that struck you most about uh, investors' attitudes towards these frontier markets? I think that one of the things that struck me was that people tend to make broad brush statements about an entire region. And right now, of course, uh, the region that's most in the news is the Middle East. Yep. And we must, and we have explained at, at length that what goes on in one country in a region doesn't necessarily define the investment climate in that region. Um, another thing that I think we talked about a lot was the need to make these decisions with an advisor. Mm -hmm. um, this is not the time to do online trading and, and things like that. So as important as an advisor's advice always is, it's probably that much more important with frontier and emerging markets. Is that a function of the investor's lack of familiarity with these markets? Because obviously, uh, if you don't know a region, as you were remarking about the Middle East, if something bad is happening in one country, the tendency to say, dump the entire thing because it's all going to hell in a handbasket is very high. And that's when you need an advisor to actually say, hold on a moment, that's not yeah. the case, or you have a well-diversified fund. Would that be another tactic to apply? Very much so, it would be another tactic. Uh, it's a function of several things. One, they're not as familiar with the frontier markets as they would be with the developed markets where they live. Another would be, we have some concerns about the risk and the volatility and the governance. So rather than make decisions based on tonight's newscast, we need the decisions filtered by mm -hmm. an experienced advisor, preferably through a large global fund, but in any event through an experienced advisor. Um, I interviewed once a, a behavioral finance guy who suggested that Sometimes people make decisions on frontier markets because they hail from there. And that can be a faulty means of making a decision.